The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra does not look or feel like a member of the Galaxy S series, which is due to the company incorporating much of what made its Galaxy Note series so popular into the design of this new phone. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is the first smartphone of Samsung since the Galaxy Note 20 to include not only S Pen support but seen on the Galaxy S21 Ultra and Z Fold 3 but also a physical slot for storing the stylus. Fans of the S Pen who purchased last year's Galaxy S21 Ultra had to purchase the stylus separately and opt for a phone case that could store it. Other improvements to the phone are more incremental, such as the advancements in the processor, camera and screen. Hello and welcome to Rocket Reviews. In today's video, we're going to be doing a review of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Samsung discontinued its Galaxy Note series in 2021 and while the company hasn't confirmed that the product line is no longer available, the S22 Ultra is accordingly the final nail in the Note's coffin. According to company executives, Note is now more of an experience than a product. The Galaxy S22 Ultra features the S Pen stylus and the square design of the Galaxy Note series. And if you're looking for a high-end smartphone with a stylus in 2022, this is likely to be one of the best options. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is designed to look more like a Note phone than a member of the traditional Galaxy S family. That means the device has flat edges at the top and bottom and the screen curves into the body on the sides. The overall design is bulkier than that of the Galaxy S22 or Galaxy S22 Plus. The S22 Ultra feels indistinguishable from the Galaxy Note as a result of this, and it's a visually striking design that works well on such a large phone. It also makes the Ultra stand out from the regular S22 and S22 Plus, which is appropriate given the price difference. The contour cut camera has also been dropped, with Samsung instead of introducing individual camera elements that pop out from the phone's back. The phone's back is made of glass with a brushed finish, making it feel premium to the touch. You can choose from four different colors, phantom black, phantom white, burgundy or green. That green is a dark shade and is a subtle new addition to the company's lineup. The most important thing to remember here is that the Galaxy S22 Ultra is a massive phone. If you have small hands, we recommend trying out one and getting a good feel before buying this phone. It measures 77.9 by 163.3 by 8.9 mm making it slightly thicker than previous Galaxy Note handsets and it weighs 229 grams. You will definitely find it easier to use with both hands, but it can feel a little lightweighty when using this S stylus pen with your other hand. The S pen stylus is integrated into the phone's bottom edge. Now that's a first for the Galaxy S series. The Galaxy S21 Ultra from 2021 was S pen compatible, but the stylus did not slide itself into the device itself. In addition to full S Pen support and a place inside the phone to store it, Samsung improved the way its stylus works. It has a lower latency and can convert handwritten notes to text in 88 languages. The S Pen felt fluid and responsive in the brief time I had with the Galaxy S22 Ultra, though it's difficult to tell if it was any different than before. The S22 Ultra's screen measures 6.8 inches and has a quad HD Plus resolution. It employs AMOLED technology and has a variable refresh rate of up to 120 Hz, which means you'll get a smoother image when gaming and scrolling through social media feeds. With the refresh rate dialed back when doing things like reading text to conserve battery life. When it comes to its products and materials used to make them, Samsung is committed to being more environmentally conscious, and as a result, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is made from ocean-bound plastics such as discarded fishing nets and the packaging it comes in is also completely recyclable. It's great to see these changes being made without impacting the premium look and feel of the phone. There's also an adaptive refresh rate that adjusts automatically from as low as 1Hz to a seriously smooth 120Hz depending on the task at hand. This should aid in battery conservation. Samsung is also introducing Vision Booster, a feature that adjusts colors and contrast based on your surroundings. This should make watching darker scenes in movies and TV shows more bearable. It's available on all three Galaxy S22 models, but the company says the Ultra and Plus have Samsung's brightest screens yet. 
On paper, the S22 Ultra's camera setup is strikingly similar to that of the S21 Ultra. It has a 108 megapixel f2.2 main camera with a wide angle field view of 85 degrees and a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera with a 120 degrees field of view. There are two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras as well. It means that the space zoom feature, which allows for a digital zoom of up to 100x, has returned to this handset. In our testing, 100x zoom is still usable, but it is difficult to get a sharp shot while holding the phone in your hand. And the results aren't particularly useful. It does, however, imply that the camera's other zoom features are useful, especially since you can easily zoom in at any level up to 100x. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra also comes with a shiny new portrait mode that Samsung claims will be able to pick up even the tiniest of details like a single strand of hair thanks to deep learning. Studio lighting for selfies and automatic night portrait mode on the front camera and even a pet portrait mode are all included in portrait mode. There are also new night mode features dubbed advanced nightography by the company. It employs the company's new 2.4 UM pixel sensor which captures more light than previous models. A 40 megapixel front facing camera is located on the front of the S22 Ultra. The variant of the Galaxy S22 Ultra you can buy depends on where you live in the world. If you live in the United States, you will get Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset inside the phone, whereas those in the United Kingdom and other parts of the world will get the Samsung's own Exynos 2200 chipset. Benchmarking leaks indicate that both chips will offer only minor improvements over what we saw in the Galaxy S21 series, but even so, there will be two extremely powerful smartphones capable of loading any apps, games, and much more in an instant. The cheapest variant of the S22 Ultra will have 8GB of RAM, while more expensive variants will have 12GB. Notably, Samsung has dropped the 16GB RAM option that it offered with the S21 Ultra. It's unlikely that you'll notice a significant difference between these models, but if you want the absolute best performance, you should consider the one which has 12GB as a model. The 8GB model has 128GB of storage, while the 12GB model has 256GB, 512GB, or 1TB. Keep in mind that there is no microSD support on these handles, so choose your storage capacity wisely. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is powered by a 5000mAh battery, the same as the S21 Ultra. That phone had a decent battery life, but it wasn't the best on the market. If that's any indication of what we can expect here, We'd say this phone will get you through a full day but won't last more than two days on a single charge. Samsung has improved its fast charging capabilities in this area. And the S22 is now capable with up to 48 watts chargers. We haven't heard any estimates on how long it will take to charge the phone, but it should be much faster than the 25 watt charging on the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus. You won't get a charger with this phone, so you'll have to buy one separately or use one that you already own. There is also wireless charging options which support up to 15 watts. Pricing and Availability The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is expected to be a pricey smartphone, but not any more than last year's model. It costs the same as the S22 Ultra did when it was first released, with a chipset model of 8GB RAM, 128GB of storage, costing $1,199. There are also variants with 12GB of RAM and more storage, but they are significantly more expensive. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is now available for pre-order, and it will go on sale on Friday, February the 25th. The Galaxy S22 Ultra should be for anyone who requires an S Pen stylus and longs for the return of the iconic Galaxy Note design. It offers everything Samsung Note's phones did. It's just a new name. There's little reason to upgrade if you already own a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or a Galaxy S21 Ultra. However, if you're looking for a high-end smartphone that includes a stylus as well as a slew of other features, you won't find a better option this year. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the content we upload.